Breaking news, this just in, it turns out that life is awesome. Wow. I was just thinking the exact same thing, Glenn. That's amazing. I love serendipity, enthusiasm, gusto, fervor, passion. This is why we're here, Ken. Hey, everybody. I'm Ken Walls. And I'm Glenn Morshower. And together we are the, the Positivity, Positivity Brothers. Brothers. So how are you today, bro? I am fan freaking tastic. How about yourself? You know, I gotta be honest with you. I am Tom T. Riffick himself. I think that uh, I think that phenomenal is the word that best describes where I'm at. I love that. You care to share with me why? You know, I'm pretty sure it all began this morning when I sprung out of bed and promptly stubbed my toe. And instead of getting upset about it and writhing around in pain, I thought to myself, hey, at least I have a dough to stub. <laughs> you know, speaking of toes to stub, I, I was at the podiatrist's office today and, and, and I heard this dude complaining about how the price of gas has suddenly skyrocketed. He didn't. He did. And I thought, wait a minute, dude. You have a fully functioning car. Oh, what an ungrateful bastard. He truly is. Hey, speaking of uh, of gas, were we speaking of gas? Yeah. Well, speaking of gas, I stopped at 7-Eleven today <laughs> to fill up my tank. And just to kind of take a trip down memory lane, I went inside and ordered a big Slurpee the largest one they had. And I forgot about, you remember when we were kids, the brain freeze? It's been years. Last time I had one of these, I was 10 years old. So I got one, but instead of being all pissed off, I thought to myself, hey, at least I'm leaving the store with this complimentary strawberry stain on my face. <laughs> That's some pretty smart thinking, Glenn. You know, speaking of smart thinking, the other night, my wife got really upset with me because I didn't take the trash out. Jill? No, my other wife. Yes, Jill. And, and look, I said, hey, woman, I think it's awesome that you also have the physical ability to remove the rubbish yourself. So we held hands and, and we looked deeply into each other's eyes. And Glenn, we shared a beautiful moment. Mm. And then I watched as she did as she was told. Now, that's a great love story, Ken. Thanks, Glenn. You know, brother, you are such an inspiration to this world. I really am, dude. Thanks for noticing. Yeah, I, I, I read your recent book, Embracing Humility. I, I, I think it's a masterpiece. I noticed you also wrote your own folly. And the reviews as well. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Hey, brother, last night I was at Starbucks and uh, the barista that behind the counter told me that my latte and my cheese Danish was going to be $12.34. Well, I paid for it with a smile on my face, knowing that I was fattening an already rich person's wallet. What a blessing, Ken. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful to serve others? 